Hi everyone, I'm Lily and today we're doing some rock painting as part of the Spring into May challenge. Before we start, you'll need some rocks, some paints, and these can be um, normal paints or paint pens. Today I'll be using paint pens, but I can show you some examples of where I've used normal paints as well. You can get them from any shop, um, Hobbycraft or the Pound Shop. Um, I also recommend turn up your hair wearing some old clothes or buying washproof paints, laying down some newspaper so you don't get anything messy and then you've got some paint brushes or if you've got your paint pens you don't need the paint brushes but when I'm doing finer details and I'm using paint brushes I use a pencil that's really sharp and then we can get started. So you need to find a rock, um, the flatter the surface the better, if it's a lighter rock and you're using light colours, you won't need to use as many layers of paint. So I've got this rock here, it's nice and long because I'll be doing a maypole. And I personally like to draw on my design first. So the maypole we'll be drawing today looks a lot like this. So there's a line down the middle and two lines across on each side that show the ribbons. So I'm going to draw my line down the middle. It can be rough because you'll be painting over it so it doesn't really matter how accurate you are. And then I'll draw my ribbons. Lovely. Okay, the first part of this one is to draw the line down the middle. I'm going to be using the colour black but it's up to you what colour you want to use. So I'm going to get my marker and go down the middle. There we go, mine looks like that. And while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm going to pick out my other colours for the ribbons. So I'm going to use red, blue, pink and yellow. You can use any colours you like, but the more vibrant, the better. So, while, so that will dry, we'll move on to our next colour. I'm going to start with red. So I'm going to shake my pen and draw that one on and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Lovely. So there you go, I've got my pole with my red paint. Um, we can carry on going through all our colours now, but make sure you wait for them to dry in between each layer, otherwise the colours will merge and spill into one another. So when you're done, you'll get something that looks a lot like this. So it's got all the colours and it's still on the stone. To make sure that it's still washproof and it won't get damaged in the rain if you're keeping it outside, or stop it from being damaged, you can varnish the stones, which gives it that nice dark colour. You can see the difference on these two stones. So to varnish them, you can use a clear nail varnish, or um, you can buy some varnish from the shops. It's perfectly fine, whatever you use. Just make sure it is clear, otherwise you won't be able to see your lovely images. So what I'm going to do is use a paintbrush, I use the same paintbrush for all my varnishing because it does damage the brush so I can no longer use this for painting. So I'll dip, I'm going to dip it in and this is really sticky so you may need to ask your adults for help. And I'm just going to brush over it. And this takes a lot longer to dry than it than all the paints. So I'm going to leave that to the side to dry and then once it's dry we can write on the back of the stone Hashtag GLK Spring into May and you can use that on any of our social medias. I've decided to use Guiding Blue so I've got to get my blue pen and write it on the back of my new stone. There we go. So when this side is dry, I can varnish this side as well. And there's the rock painting of the maypole, which will look like this. You can use any colours you like, so don't worry about it not looking exactly the same. And practice makes perfect. You can do lots of different designs. I've got a ladybird. I've got a field full of sheep. And the sun. And I've got a butterfly or a rainbow. 
You can do whatever you want depending on the size of your rock. You can do a hedgehog, you can do a bumblebee, you can do anything that you would like to do. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to pause it at any time so you can listen to the stages of drawing the maypole. So have a good day and spring into May.